I'm here today to show you guys all the new animals, all the new building pieces and all the new foliage added to Planet Zoo with a new Twilight pack. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. If you are watching this video a day before the release of the new pack, don't worry, you haven't missed the premiere, everything is fine, it is just that Frontier allowed us creators to release our videos showcasing the new pack one day before the official release so you guys can have a look at all of those things a, a bit earlier to prepare yourselves for a final uh, release, so the pack is still released tomorrow. So, we'll do a showcase of all the animals first, then we'll go for all of the new building pieces and finally I will show you guys all the new foliage and stones added to this beautiful game and I show you and I can't wait to show you guys all the new things because I think that this pack is just wonderful. Wait till you see it all. And right away, I am in a new walkthrough exhibit for the Egyptian fruit bats. And as you guys can see, there's a lot going on in here. There are tons of bats, there's a lot of motion, everything is moving. They're also really, really loud. And this is such a cool new feature, probably my favorite when it comes to this new pack. Uh, those new bats and the fact that they are flying, the fact that the guests can go here inside and admire them. I must confirm, however, uh, I know some people will be disappointed that those are the looped animations. Uh, so the bats, you can have up to 32 bats in one of those aviaries and they are all doing their animation. Uh, I must say that what, uh, from what I can understand, what I noticed, those animations like changed a bit. Like uh, I remember that last time I checked it, I had some bats sitting in here and there are none in they are not longer here so maybe they are changing the positions and doing the different loops animation from time to time I don't know uh, you guys sh you should be able to confirm it yourself because I just didn't have enough time to you know uh, stare at those guys too long uh, but yeah this is the new uh, this is the new exhibit uh, so you just get a box uh, and you can uh, simply decorate it yourself and you are adding all of those enrichment items uh, just as you are adding them to the normal exhibits in your game. I can show you uh, this how you do it. The exhibit is a bit dirty as you guys can see we should call someone in uh, but you just uh, are adding uh, the different things by clicking here so they appear and disappear uh, and uh, by doing research on those guys you get more enrichment uh, for those guys. You can also set the climate as in uh, other, uh, the, the temperature I should say as in other exhibits and you can change the walls and what is super exciting is that you can have a wire, wire mesh wall, you can have glass wall, I'm changing the the wall that is actually uh, in there or in there where is this one hello oh there's the glass wall there's a solid wall and there is a none option so you can do it completely like null without any barriers and you can do it all by yourself they won't escape uh, this is just you know uh, because they have the looped animations and you can create everything you want by yourself and also the, f the nice thing is that when you do the solid barriers you can sink the wall I think it works like this yeah uh, then you can create this really cool cage because this is some how you know darker uh, and yeah the guests can enter through this like P C V I I mean I think this material is called uh, but yeah I uh, did like an aviary here so let's go back to it and this is how our uh, small little bats are looking we can zoom in a bit for one of them so you guys can have a look. They have really cute faces, as you can see. Uh, and yeah, they are flying. They are very active. They are using all of those things. Uh, some of them are sitting on the fruits, actually, as you guys can see here. This is really cool. Okay, and let's have a look at their Zoopedia. 
So we'll quickly check out the Zoopedia information about all of those new animals. I will just give you the most important facts. So the Egyptian fruit bat is least concerned. Uh, it lives in Africa and Asia. Uh, this is the temperature requirement for those guys in the exhibit. The biomes include grassland, desert and tropical. You can have up to 35 of them in one exhibit. Uh, they have one offspring per mating event. Those are the... Uh, those are the wingspans of them and they can live up to 17 years. The next animal that I would like to showcase is a raccoon. And as you guys can see, this is a really beautiful animal. Uh, I just love the way they look. Uh, the fur looks just beyond good. Uh, their face is really nice. Uh, and they have really nice animations and really nice sounds. Uh, what is really cool about those guys is that they have the water requirements, so you have to make sure that you give them some water. They're actually swimming a bit. Uh, they are spending a lot of time here during by this water for section, and they are also climbing. So this is really cool to see when they are using the climbing frames. Uh, you can have up to five of them in one exhibit, excluding, of course, the small kids that we also have in here. And yeah, this is one of them. Oh, there's a kid here, a little one. Uh, and yeah, really, really cool animal. I just love its fur. I love the face. It's, it is looking really, really good with all those white markings. The tail is really nice. And yeah, it just decided to lie down in here. Yeah, it's chilling. <laughs> Such a beautiful and cute little animal. Uh, here are the little ones. Uh, so as you guys can see, this is a cuter and smaller version of a parent. They are really, really tiny. They seem to be holding uh, like together, which is really cool. Uh, like all the siblings and stuff. Uh, but yeah. As you guys can see, there is a lot of go a lot of going on in this habitat, and I love it. Uh, they are really loud. They are just everywhere. They are jumping. They are climbing. Unfortunately, we don't see anyone on the climbing frames. But uh, if you will build something nice for them to climb, for sure uh, they will be using it. I just cut one of those guys using the climbing frame, so I hope that I'll be able to show you guys how they are going down the climbing frames because it looks really cool. They are actually, oh, okay, okay, yes, they are going head first and doing this really cool move. <laughs> yeah, this is so, so cool. I just love those guys so much. Uh, I cannot wait to build something nice for them. Uh, I have big plans for them in the Elm Hill City Zoo, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Okay, let's have a look at their Zoopedia. So here we are with the Zoopedia facts about the raccoon. As you guys can see, another really cool photo. The raccoon is least concerned. Uh, it lives in North America and Central America. The biomes include aquatic, uh, temperate, taiga, grassland and tropical. So quite a lot of them. Those are the uh, requirements for habitat for one individual. So uh, the land requirement, the climbing and the water requirement. Uh, and the fence for those guys needs to be great to uh, climb proof minimum uh, three mit meters you can have up to five of them in one group uh, you can have ten of ten of them if you are doing only a female bachelor group size which is quite quite fun actually 10 of them in one habitat uh, yeah the guests can actually enter the habitat which is really nice uh, and they have two to five uh, to four offspring offspring per one mating even and the reproduction in captivity is actually easy uh, those are the uh, all the enrichment items that you can use for those guys quite a lot actually uh, and uh, those are the animals that they get the interspecies enrichment from. So this is really cool because you can combine them with the North American beaver or the striped skunk. And next we have a striped skunk, the animal that I fell in love with uh, for the first like sight, for the first time that I saw it. I wasn't too uh, excited when it was announced that this tri uh, the, the skunk is added to the game, but they look so, so beautiful. And you can see the baby right there. Uh, this skunk is very tiny, I must say. It is a really, really tiny animal. And the babies, of course, are even smaller, but it looks so, so good. I just love 
It's, I love how well it is made. I love the fur texture, the colors, the face. Yeah, this is a really, really cool tiny animal. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, here it is compared to the guests. So it is a really small one and this is the adult. And the uh, small babies are even smaller. We can have a look at them uh, in here. Unfortunately, they're in this tall grass, but the other one is uh, sort of coming out of it uh, Yes, so here we have small little tiny very cute uh, Striped skunk babies and I just love those guys. I am so happy that they were added to the game because they are very, very, very beautiful. So here we are in the Zoopedia, another really beautiful photo, this time of a skunk. Uh, the skunk is least concerned. It lives in North America. Uh, the biomes are temperate, grassland and taiga. Those are the requirements for one of those guys. They cannot climb, they don't need water. Uh, the, uh, the fence must be grade one and 1.25 meters. You can have up to two of those guys, one male and one female in uh, the one habitat. They are shy and the guests cannot enter the habitat. Uh, they have one to five offspring, offspring per one mating event and the reproduction in, ca in captivity is easy. So yeah, this was our skunk. Let's have one last look at the babies. If I will be able to find them in here maybe they are all in the burrow uh yeah there was one guy that is up but yeah okay so <laughs> i cannot seem to find them they are probably hidden somewhere in here uh so let's move to another animal Another animal from the Twilight Pack is a red fox and as you guys can see it is totally beautiful. I just love it. This is probably right now my favorite animal from uh, all this pack. I just love how it looks. I love its animations. I love the way it moves. Uh, it has this like fast strut, maybe not this like... Uh, running as it does right now but sometimes it walks in a different way and i must say that uh, i live next to the park and in this park there's a red fox living in there and i see it all the time when i walk my dog and they are just moving they like this like the, in the game so i am very happy with how uh, they made it i think that this is just a beautiful animal uh, with beautiful eyes and the fur and it just jumped <laughs> and uh, the fur texture is beautiful and the different color variations just amazing i uh, have only one of those special color variations in here i have the cross uh, uh, variation somewhere in here it must be somewhere here i will just show you guys yeah it's here uh, so here we have the part melanistic cross uh, unfortunately it's very hard to get them in the trading center uh, i'm sure it's easier to get them where it, when they are breeding and so on but this guy is also really beautiful like look at those colors uh, i wasn't able to get any other color morphs in the trading center i adopted like I don't know 100 of those guys just to get this one so uh, i didn't have time to look further uh, but as you guys can see those guys are just beautiful and adorable and you actually can have quite a lot of them in one habitat uh, I think 14 so uh, Really really cool stuff. This is a baby. Unfortunately, it has its head inside of the food so you guys can cannot see uh, But maybe we'll move on to some other ones. Yeah, here we have another one. The babies are just adorable and yeah, they also stick together, which is quite fun. Uh, and yeah, I just, I must say that I really love, love this animal. And this is the uh, walk that I wanted to tell you guys. The foxes just move like that. So they nailed it so, so much. Uh, yeah, really, really beautiful animal. It can use a lot of enrichment items. This is, by the way, the new ball from the Twilight Pack. It comes with a free update, I think, but we get this ball from now on in the game. It is just a pumpkin. Uh, and yeah, I must say that I love those guys. It, they have really cool animation, like uh, playing with the bubbles. Uh, they are just 
just beautiful. What can I say? I'm very happy that they were added. I already know what I will build for them in the Elm Hill City Zoo, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let's have a quick look at their Zoopedia uh, to find out more about them. Another beautiful photo in here, uh, the red fox is least concerned as well. They live in quite a big part of the world, in North America, Europe, Africa and Asia. So you can actually use a lot of plants for them. Uh, those are the biomes and those are the requirements for the one individual. The fence must be great too and three meters. I know for a fact that those guys are jumpers. They can jump really high, so three meters is... I I think okay for them. Uh, I have some uh, family and friends living in the UK and they told me that uh, they are living in the suburbs of London and they told me that they have to be careful when they are opening their uh, windows because the foxes can jump inside the home to for example get to some food in the kitchen. So yeah they are really jumpers. Uh, when it comes to the species data, you can have up to 14, as I told you guys, in one habitat. They are actually shy, I guess, cannot enter the habitats. Uh, and they have three to six young per mating event, and they are easy uh, to uh, breed in captivity. Those are the enrichment items you can use quite a lot, again. Uh, and we don't have any species enrichment with any other animal. And last but certainly not least, we have a common wombat and this is how it looks. As you guys can see, it is quite chunky. <laughs> it is quite a fatty guy, uh, Australian marsupial and here we have a baby. This is actually a male. Uh, here we have a little girl, if I am correct. Yeah, so you can right away see how adorable the baby, baby is. Yeah, those guys are looking like little bears or something. They are really fluffy, they are really chunky. And there's a female in this slightly lighter color, light light brown. I really like them. I think that there's this is a really fun addition to the game. And the fact that we are getting more uh, animals from Australia makes me so, so happy. Uh, will you do the animation with this? No, you won't. Or maybe we'll see that. Yeah, probably we will. Or are you just sniffing? Come on, give us something. Yes. So yeah, it scratches its head. They are so adorable. Just look at it. They look so happy. Yeah, a bit bad scratches. <laughs> Yeah, they look so happy. I just I just love those guys so much. I am so happy that they were added. And this little, little, little thing is so adorable. Like, it looks like a hamster or something. <laughs> yeah, those guys are so, so fun. Uh, and of course, uh, they come from Australia. They can have different uh, enrichment items, as you guys can see. And uh, of course, they love their burrow. They are spending a lot of time in this burrow, actually. Uh, so yeah, this is a new common wombat and let's check out the Zoopedia for it. Another adorable photo for a common wombat. The common wombat is least concerned. It lives in Oceania. Uh, those are the habitat requirements. Uh, the fence needs to be only one meter. Uh, in one habitat we can have up to two of them, one male and one female. Uh, they are quite confident with humans, but they can, the guests cannot go uh, into the habitat. Uh, they have one offspring per mating event, they live around 21 years. And the reproduction in captivity is difficult and I actually had to wait some time for them to breed. Uh, those are the enrichment items that they can use quite a lot actually. And they don't have any uh, interspecies uh, enrichment with any other animals. Uh, so yeah, this is our common wombat. The like fun fact about the common wombat is that they have the square poops. <laughs> Those are quite square, I might say. <laughs> 
Okay guys, so that's all when it comes to the new animals. By the way, this is the zoo that I uh, created to celebrate uh, the release of the new pack. I used here a lot of new pieces and now it's time to give you guys a showcase of all the new building pieces that will be added to the game. So see you in just a second. Welcome to the part of the video where we will showcase all the new uh, construction pieces added to Planet Zoo with the new Twilight pack. We were kind of afraid that this pack will be very themed, like Halloween themed, but actually there are not too many themed pieces. There are so many new, very useful pieces that I must say that I am really, really happy with uh, everything that is added. Some of those pieces are super, super useful just as this new wall set that you guys can see in front of you i think that it is super beautiful it looks really really nice and i think that it will be very useful for even modern zoos uh, modern builds this is just amazing i love the texture of those walls i love this stone uh, look to them and yeah this is something that you can see in a lot of places right now although it feels a bit old uh, I can as I told you I can totally see that used in uh, different places in, in, like for example in habitats to use them as uh, some retaining walls and stuff like that so yeah this is the new stuff uh, obviously uh, we get the regular uh, like pieces as always uh, we have the ones that are off grid of course so you can make them however you like and of course they are also recolorable so you can uh, make pretty like crazy things about with them changing the colors of those walls with this new pack we are also getting an entirely new roof set and I must say that this is probably my favorite roof right now. I just love how it looks. I can see that totally used for animal shelters, for uh, I don't know different buildings and also for those more themed areas. We of course get this roof in all of our regular pieces. I love those pieces because you can see how three dimensional this roof is actually. And yeah, this is looking just beautiful and of course it is also recolorable. I will show you some examples in a second. We are also getting those new uh, like shapes for more like towers and stuff like that. Uh, this is off grid as uh, also, so you can use this one uh, however you like as you guys see. And we are getting actually those off grid pieces of the roofs panels, uh, so this is Amazing. I would love to have uh, them for all the roofs because sometimes it is quite hard, you know, when you have those wonky shapes of your buildings to cover them with the roof. And when you're getting those small, tiny pieces, it gets like easier, like right away. So, uh, yeah, I'm super happy that we have them. And also, uh, there are a lot of those smaller, like, tower roofs. Uh, this ha pack is all about, you know, small castles and stuff like that. So if you'd like to build those small, tiny towers, you can now do it. Uh, there are some other, like, um, uh, parts of those small towers in other sections that I will show you in a second. So those are the new roofs and here you have some uh, examples of the colors that I chose uh, that are very beautiful and I think would work for uh, different areas in your zoos. For example, this one is just beautiful. Next up, we have some new windows and doors added to the game. Uh, firstly, we have those new emissive deco panel ar arches. They are just to complete the roster of all the emissive uh, panels that we have in game. You just put them in, you know, behind your windows or something and they are glowing in the night. So it just looks like the uh, window is, you know, lit up or something. Uh, so we have the new shapes because there are windows in those shapes here in this pack. Then we have those uh, door framing planks. They are really beautiful and small and I just love to see that because uh, those uh, pieces are always very useful. You can change them their colors so that's also amazing. Uh, then we have those uh, props for creating the medieval doors. <laughs> so we have uh, the door handle, this is the door hinge and this is the door lock. 
so if you like to create those castle uh, doors, you can do so. Then we have all those planks that are used for creating the doors, but of course I can see them used with in so many different ways uh, as, I don't know, fences, as different, you know, we can you can just build crazy stuff for them. And of course they are also recolorable, so that's amazing to see. Uh, then we have all those arches. Uh, those are for the windows, for for your you know castle vibe style of building. But of course, you can use them in so many different ways. I love those arches. I must say, I can be see them being used in so so many different ways. Uh, so also, they are all recolorable. So that's also amazing to see. And then we have those we window uh, beams like this uh, and. So um, column caps this is a column window column this is the corner so you can combine those and be, be uh, like build big arched windows with those this little corner also makes me very happy because it will be very useful and then we have those really cool twilight window panes which are just beautiful i love this shape uh, those you know cool shapes of those windows the next category are the wall decorations. So uh, firstly, you have those gargle platforms that are just used to, you know, put the gargles on them and add them to the walls. I will, I will show you the gargles in a second. Uh, then we have all this set to create uh, the small towers. Uh, I will show you in a second the blueprints that are provided with this pack. And then you can kind of get how you can use those pieces. They are always providing us with those blueprints prints to somehow you know show us how those pieces are meant to be used so this is also really cool uh, and this is also coming so if you are not getting that this is basically the base then you have the tower and then you have the roof that was i showcased before or you can put those things on the top of the towers those are different kinds of the bases of the towers uh, this is the top uh, like a roof cap different kind of base this could be also really useful for creating like uh, custom tiles on the floors probably and this set is also really really cool i think it would be so so useful uh, to have those stone uh, little like pieces that you can recolor and build really cool things with them especially for example this one uh, also i can see it being used as a flooring i can see it being used on the walls and so many different small pieces small pieces always make me so happy and we get also the new uh like set of beams they are recolorable they're a bit like uh similar to the ones that we got in the uh, i think it was the south america pack but the same but a bit different <laughs> yeah uh but yeah i really love, love those pieces i always love you know the new stones and new wood and stuff like that being added and those are the pieces that i really like uh those are actually looking the same as the curbs to the path that we are getting in with this pack so if you like to you know uh add the same curb to other paths you can just do it or you can use it in a traditional well way as a wall trim so they are in three different uh, lengths up next we have the new lights that are being added to the game and for this i think that i should set the time tonight because then you will be able to see all of those uh, the best so this is the new uh, twilight brazier and then you have the torches uh, I mean, there is a torch and then you have the torch bracket. And then comes the whole set of the glowing mushrooms, which are really, really nice. I don't see them being used by me too much, but I still love how they are just created. They are really, really nice. I especially like this one. Uh, so this is how they look at night. We can also have a look at them, how they look at the day time. Uh, but coming back to the night, uh, because we have some, this is basically a big mushroom that you can combine in two. And then you have the jack-o'-lanterns, the pumpkins, three different sizes. I think that they are designed in a beautiful, beautiful way. I especially like this one, but this one is also really, really nice. So if you like to create those, you know, Halloween parts of your zoo, definitely add tons of them to those places. 
Uh, then we have this new like hanging torch uh, or lantern uh, and this really small uh, lantern chain that I can also uh, see being used, you know, in different places to create, I don't know, barriers to create uh, fences for the guests and stuff like that. And then we have those uh, glowing decals. Uh, so you have a lot of them. You have, of course, bats. Uh, you have the moon, you have the mushrooms, the spiders, and they look really cool. Uh, this is not the night still. Let me... Okay, you can see now how they are actually glowing. So, uh, yeah, really, really cool pieces. The mushrooms, the... Um, the spiders, the spider web, there are some branches and trees and stuff and there are those uh, eyes that we can we could see in the trailer for this new pack. So uh, yeah, a lot of new fun, very cool pieces and uh, I cannot wait to use them because I think that those can be very like used really cool for a different, I don't know, info boards or you know different backgrounds of the habitats and stuff like that and the eyes if you are feeling that you know ha halloween vibe you can totally add them to your zoo Coming further, we have the new props that are being added to the game and we have this really wonderful uh, new uh, fence set that you can use to decorate your zoo or to prevent your guests to living the paths or anything. So you have the straight option, you have the curved one, then you have the gate and you have the two uh, like posts, the thick one and the thin one. The thin one is actually really cool and I <laughs> see it being used a lot for different things. Then you have those really cool like voodoo dolls kind of things i don't know uh those are the sculptures they are called the sculptures but for me they look more like dolls so this is the bat the fox this is actually mr myers uh, then we have the raccoon the uh, skunk and the wombat and then we have probably one of my favorite piece in this game which is the uh metal bending uh, so I can see it used for fences, for backstage areas, for creating different, different things. So I just love those guys. Oh man, I can see them being used by me so, so much. They are also recolorable, which is really, really cool to see. Uh, and we also have this like spike uh, that you can add to different things. Uh, then we have this wooden beams. Uh, also, uh, they are in the prop uh, category of the new pieces. Also really cool and also recolorable. And this is actually one uh, piece. And then we have the new uh, signs and statues added to the game. And I must say that I just love the new signs for the uh, new animals. They are totally wonderful and super cute. Just look at this one, but it looks so, so adorable. Then we have the new bats, uh, the three uh, different signs for the bats. This is the raccoon looking really adorable. And we have the fox and the beautiful skunk. Uh, then we have some different uh signs for the stalagmites and stalactites and so on i just rotate them in different you know ways so you can see how you can use those and then we should have somewhere here yeah there those are the new um those are the new statues added to the game so we have this uh, like reward statue for the uh for the raccoon i'm sure that if you will uh, complete the new campaign you'll get it's in bronze golden and silver versions and then you have the gargoyles this is the wombat the uh, raccoon this is the fox and then you have the skunk and this is all when it comes to the pieces i must say that i really love them i really love this pack uh, even though i had mixed feelings uh, at the beginning right now they are all gone I just love it. So let's move to uh, the new foliage and new stones. Let's have a quick look at all of the new plants and rocks added to Planet Zoo with a Twilight Pack. This is always my favorite part of uh, the showcase of new pieces. And I must say that I really like the new uh, foliage that is adding to the game. Uh, so firstly, we have those autumn uh, leaf litter. And I am very happy that we actually have the uh, leaves right now in the game. Uh, but I kind of wish that they were more like recolorable. I wish that they were 
where I am in those more brownish colors to make them look a bit more realistic but still I am very happy that those were finally added because it is just a little touch of realism that we can add to our Zeus. Then we have those bristle cone uh, pine uh, branches in different shapes. Those are a bit funky for me. I don't see myself using them too much but I'm sure that many of you guys will love them. Uh, you know in your Halloween themed areas and stuff they can look really cool and then we have this large brisson called pine tree it is huge but it looks really like uh, really funky really like uh, for the Halloween area I think it would be like perfect but I don't see myself using it too much in the habitats then we have the plants that I really like those are the foxglove uh, in uh, different colors we have the pink the other pink the white and the yellow those are not recolorable i mean the flowers but still we have them in four different shapes and colors uh, so then we have my favorite plant for this new pack the common yaw tree those come uh, in three different sizes and i think that they are totally beautiful i love the color of uh, those uh, needles and yeah really beautiful plant I will definitely use it a lot. Then we have something new for Planet Zoo. We are getting our first mushrooms. Uh, so this is the ghost fungus. It comes from uh, Oceania and it looks really cool. And I am happy that actually we have the some kind of fungus in the game right now. Then we have this really small, tiny plant. This is the Lords and Ladies plant. Uh, there's There are two different uh, versions with the flowers. And then we have the ones with just leaves and we have this really cool and tiny tiny plant that I can see myself using quite a lot because I love for for example I don't know some planters and so on those small uh, little uh, plants are always very very useful and those are all this is all when it comes to the uh, new plants added there are some added with the new uh, free update but I will showcase them in another video showcasing the new free update and then we have the stalactites or stalagmites or I don't know uh, it depends how you will you know add them to your zoo uh, in three different shapes and you can sort of you know just uh, combine them together to create those bigger ones uh, in your caves and stuff like that that's really cool stuff definitely for creating like I don't know those background walls for your habitats you can just combine them together and uh, you know do those back walls or something and they look actually super super cool okay so that's all when it comes to all the new pieces and foliage coming to the game with the new twilight pack we also have a new path coming to the game with this new pack. Uh, I must say that this path looks really cool, really nice. I can be, see it being used in different areas in your zoos. It's very versatile, like even for tropical areas and stuff like that. So this is the version where without the curb, then with, there is a version with a curb. And I must say that I love this curb because it is so subtle, subtle and it it isn't just so chunky as we are used to with other uh, paths in Planet Zoo. There's a version with the railing in here and then you have the elevated version and I must say that I love this edge. It is so beautifully done and there is the version with the railing so you guys can see it for yourself. Uh, and then of course we have all the props that come with the new paths we have the new bench uh, like looking like a spider web we have those two new bins one is with this gussy thing and i think it looks cool uh, for a halloween area uh, then we have this new table uh, with the spider web and the uh, umbrella that looks like a witch hat or something those are super themed i must say i don't see myself using them too much but as i told you guys if you are into you know uh, ha halloween and halloween i don't know areas in your zoos or you'd like to create something like a spider house i can see them being totally totally used and this um Umbrella is kind of kind of nice, I must say. Okay. 
And now, as I promised, I will do a quick showcase of the blueprints added to, to the game so you can see how you can actually use those pieces. This is the new walk in Aviary and those are all the blueprints that we get with those new wall sets, with the new uh, roofs and all the, all of those uh, you know, wooden pieces that are new and those metal pieces that I really love. Uh, so this is how the new blueprints uh, look. I'll just quickly go through them. Those are the shop shelves. Th those are the toilets, really cool, like castle uh, looking toilets uh, and some other uh, buildings for the stuff. And this is actually a zoo entrance, like looking like a small castle, like a gate to the castle. So a really cool stuff. And then you have some other blueprints like just for the looks, I, I guess. This is the sign, this is a huge like tower. Then you have this torch, uh, then you have the windmill. This is really cool piece, I think. And then you have this like nature scene with the flower, with the um, mushrooms, the big tree and the statues of animals on it. And this uh, cute little gate uh, to that you can use, to, for example, to enter your Halloween area at the zoo. Okay, so that was all uh, when it comes to the showcase of this new uh, DLC, all of the animals and all of the new pieces. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you like the new pack as much as I do. Uh, tell me down below what is your favorite animal, What, which one did you like the best and also if you like the new pieces and if you see them um, being used by you, if you see them Okay guys, this is all when it comes to this big showcase of the new Twilight pack. Before I will say goodbye, I would like to say thank you Frontier for providing me with this early access once again. This really means a world to me and I am so happy that I can actually do those showcases before to tell you guys more about the new upcoming packs and what you can expect. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe by, by clicking the subscribe button down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, also, ring the bell if you'd like to uh, be notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, comment down below which is your favorite animal that is added with this new pack. Uh, do you have some favorite pieces that are being added? Do you see yourself using the new pieces? And what are your general thoughts about the new pack? And if you'd like to support the channel a little bit extra, you can uh, now click the join button next to the subscribe button and become the member of the channel uh, that will provide you with some very awesome uh, perks and you will be supporting me and the channel a little bit extra. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!